Hi, I'm the pharmacist. What can I do for you today? Hi, I was after something to help with a cough. I can absolutely try and help. Is it for yourself? It's actually for my son. He's five years old and at home with my wife at the moment. Ah, uh, I see. And what sort of symptoms does he have? He has just recovered from a cold and now has a persistent dry cough that keeps him up at night. Does he have any wheezing, phlegm, fever or any other symptoms? No. He had a mild fever and runny nose about four days ago. The doctor recommended some paracetamol and saline nasal spray. That seemed to work well. Now it's just the dry cough at night that seems to be causing discomfort. Thank you for letting me know. And have you tried anything already for the dry cough? We have been giving him water to keep him hydrated and haven't tried anything else. That's a really good start. And so that I can give you the best advice, could you please tell me if he is on any other medications, has any medical conditions or allergies? No nothing else. Thank you for this information. It sounds like your son has a post-viral infection dry cough. This can be common after a cold or flu. Post-viral infection coughs can last up to a few weeks after an infection and are usually self-limiting, meaning they go away on their own. I recognize that they can be uncomfortable especially for a young child like your son so I'm going to recommend some strategies to assist him. Thank you. I appreciate it. Unfortunately most dry cough medications are not recommended for children under 6 years of age and there is limited evidence that they are helpful. However, there are still other things that you can do to help your son's cough at night. Warm drinks can ease a dry mouth especially honey and lemon in warm water. Humidifiers and keeping the room at a comfortable temperature may also help, as coughs worsen in dry air. You can also prop up your child's bed with a pillow and keep them away from irritants such as dust and cigarette smoke. This is very helpful. Thanks so much. You're welcome and before you go it is important to remember that if your child has a high fever, difficulty breathing, is not drinking fluids or develops any new symptoms you should immediately take them to see the GP. I will. Thanks for your help. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. You can also leave a comment below with which topic you'd like to see next and what other advice you would give this patient.